Chapter 1. The Early Years Hilary Rodham, a girl with bright eyes and a curious mind, was born on October 26, 1947, in Chicago, Illinois. She grew up in a suburban town called Park Ridge, a place with tree-lined streets, friendly neighbours, and a warm sense of community. Hilary's family was close-knit and loving. Her father, Hugh Rodham, was a strong-willed man who ran a small but successful textile business. Her mother, Dorothy, was a gentle woman with a great deal of wisdom, always encouraging Hilary to learn and grow. From a young age, Hilary showed a keen interest in the world around her. She was a diligent student, always eager to learn. Her parents encouraged her to read, and she spent many hours with her nose in books, travelling to distant lands and times through the stories she read. She attended public schools in Park Ridge, where she proved to be a bright and inquisitive student. Her teachers often praised her for her hard work and her eagerness to participate in class discussions. Outside of school, Hilary's life was filled with activities. She was a member of the local Brownie and Girl Scout troops, which taught her valuable lessons about teamwork and leadership. She also enjoyed playing sports, particularly baseball and soccer. Hilary loved the feeling of running across the field, the wind in her hair, and the thrill of the game. Hilary's family valued discussion and debate. At the dinner table, they often talked about the news and current events. These conversations sparked Hilary's interest in politics and public service. She learned about the importance of having an opinion and standing up for what you believe in. Her parents encouraged her to think for herself and to express her thoughts clearly and confidently. As Hilary grew older, she began to develop a sense of social responsibility. She became aware of the inequalities and injustices in the world and felt a strong desire to make a difference. She started volunteering in her community, helping those in need. She believed that even as a young person, she could contribute to making the world a better place. One of Hillary's most influential experiences during her early years was hearing a speech by Martin Luther King Jr. His words about justice and equality deeply moved her. She realised that change was possible, but it required courage and determination. This experience solidified her desire to work for the betterment of society. In high school, Hillary's interests continued to grow. She became an active member of the student government and joined various clubs and organisations. She also excelled academically, especially in history and science. Her teachers recognised her potential and encouraged her to pursue her dreams. Hillary started to envision a future where she could make a significant impact on the world. During her summers, Hillary worked various jobs to earn money and gain experience. She babysat for neighbourhood families, worked in a local store, and even helped out in her father's textile business. These jobs taught her the value of hard work, responsibility and managing money. Hillary's family life was not always perfect. Like all families, they had their share of challenges and disagreements. However, these experiences taught Hillary valuable lessons about resilience, understanding, and the importance of family support. As Hillary's high school years came to a close, she began to think about college. She had big dreams and aspirations. She wanted to continue her education, learn more about the world, and prepare herself for a life of service and leadership. Hillary applied to several colleges, eager to take the next step in her journey. Chapter 2. A Passion for Change no Hillary Rodham's journey to college began with a sense of excitement and a thirst for knowledge. In the fall of 1965, she stepped onto the campus of Wellesley College, a prestigious women's college in Massachusetts. Wellesley was known for its strong academic programmes, and its tradition of producing women leaders. For Hillary, 
it was the perfect place to expand her horizons and explore her interests. College life was a vibrant and eye-opening experience for Hillary. She found herself surrounded by young women from all over the country and the world, each with her own story, ideas and dreams. In this diverse environment, Hillary's beliefs and perspectives were constantly challenged and expanded. She engaged in deep conversations with her peers and professors, discussing everything from literature to politics. Hillary's interest in social issues grew stronger during her college years. She became particularly concerned about civil rights and social justice. The 1960s were a time of significant social and political change in the United States. The civil rights movement was in full swing and protests against the Vietnam War were growing. Hillary felt a strong desire to be part of these changes. She joined various student organisations and participated in debates and discussions about the pressing issues of the day. Hillary was not afraid to speak her mind and stand up for what she believed in. She was particularly vocal about issues of equality and justice. Her passion and eloquence caught the attention of her fellow students and professors. In her junior year, Hillary became the president of the Wellesley College Government Association. This role gave her a platform to advocate for change within the college and in the broader community. She worked tirelessly to address student concerns and to make Wellesley a more inclusive and progressive place. One of Hillary's most significant moments at Wellesley came during her graduation in 1969. She was chosen to give the commencement speech, a rare honour for a student. In her speech, Hillary expressed her hopes and concerns for her generation. She spoke about the need for empathy, understanding and action to address the world's problems. Her speech was bold and inspiring and it received national attention. It was a clear sign that Hillary was destined for bigger things. Throughout her time at Wellesley, Hillary continued to excel academically. She was a disciplined and dedicated student, delving deeply into her studies in political science. Her professors were impressed by her intelligence and her commitment to learning. They encouraged her to pursue further education and to consider a career in public service. As her college years came to an end, Hillary had grown significantly. She had developed a deeper understanding of the world and her place in it. She had honed her skills in leadership, debate and advocacy. And most importantly, she had solidified her commitment to working for change and equality. With her college degree in hand, Hillary was ready for the next chapter in her life. She decided to attend Yale Law School, one of the top law schools in the country. She knew that a law degree would give her the tools she needed to make a real difference in the world. As Hillary left Wellesley, she carried with her the lessons and experiences of her college years. She had found her voice and her passion for change, and she was eager to use her talents and knowledge to fight for a better, more just world. The journey ahead would be challenging, but Hillary was ready to meet it with courage, determination and hope. Chapter 3 Meeting Bill Clinton In the autumn of 1969, Hillary Rodham arrived at Yale Law School, a place buzzing with intellectual energy and political debate. Yale was not just a law school, it was a melting pot of ideas and a training ground for future leaders. Among these future leaders was a young man named Bill Clinton, who would play a significant role in Hillary's life. Bill, like Hillary, had a passion for politics and public service. He came from Arkansas, a southern state with its own unique challenges and history. At Yale, Bill was known for his charisma and his deep, genuine interest in people. He had a way of connecting with everyone he met, making them feel heard and important. Hillary and Bill's paths crossed in the law library. Bill had noticed Hillary before 
her confidence and intelligence shone brightly. One day he gathered his courage and approached her. He introduced himself and they started talking. It was a conversation that would mark the beginning of a lifelong partnership. Their connection was instant. They found that they shared many interests and values. Both were deeply concerned about social justice and wanted to use their law degrees to make a positive impact. Their conversations were filled with discussions about politics, law and their dreams of changing the world. Hillary was impressed by Bill's warmth and his deep understanding of political issues. Bill was drawn to Hillary's sharp mind and her commitment to her beliefs. They both had a strong sense of purpose and a desire to be part of something larger than themselves. As they spent more time together, their relationship grew deeper. They studied together, attended political events and shared their aspirations. They challenged each other's ideas, which only strengthened their respect and admiration for each other. In the spring of 1971, while still at Yale, Hillary and Bill took a trip to California during a spring break. It was a time of exploration and adventure. They drove around, talking endlessly about their futures, the law, and how they could contribute to society. This trip solidified their bond. They realised that they were not just partners in thought, but in heart as well. After graduating from Yale, their journeys took them in different directions temporarily. Hillary went to work in Washington, D.C. on children's rights and legal advocacy, while Bill returned to Arkansas to pursue his political career. However, their separation was short-lived. Their connection was too strong, and they were committed to building a life together. Hillary made the decision to move to Arkansas to be with Bill, this was a significant step for her, leaving behind her life in Washington for a new and uncertain future in the South. It was a testament to her love for Bill and her belief in their shared goals. In Arkansas, Hillary and Bill's partnership in both love and work continued to grow. They became a powerful team dedicated to public service and making a difference in people's lives. Hillary adapted to her new life in Arkansas, embracing the community and its challenges. She worked as a lawyer and became involved in various advocacy projects. Their relationship faced many challenges, as all relationships do. They had their disagreements and had to navigate the complexities of balancing their professional and personal lives. But through it all, their commitment to each other and their shared goals remained steadfast. In 1975, Hillary and Bill got married in a small ceremony at their home in Fayetteville, Arkansas. It was a celebration of their love and the life they were building together. As they stood together, surrounded by family and friends, they looked forward to the future with hope and determination. Hillary and Bill's meeting at Yale was more than just a chance encounter. It was the start of a partnership that would shape their lives and the course of American politics. Together, they would face triumphs and challenges, highs and lows, but always with the unshakable belief that they could make the world a better place. And as they embarked on their journey together, they knew that they had each other's support, love and respect every step of the way. Chapter 4. The Road to Arkansas In the mid-1970s, Hillary Rodham, now Hillary Clinton after marrying Bill, made a life-changing decision to move to Arkansas. This was a bold step, leaving behind her familiar life in Washington, D.C. to embark on a new journey in the South. Arkansas was Bill's home state, and he had big dreams of making a difference there. Hillary, with her own aspirations and a deep commitment to their shared future, decided to join him in this new chapter. Arriving in Arkansas, Hillary found herself in a world quite different from what she had known. 
The pace of life was slower, and the culture was steeped in southern traditions. It was a close-knit community where everyone seemed to know each other. Hillary, coming from a bustling city and an Ivy League law school, had to navigate this new environment with care and understanding. Despite the initial culture shock, Hillary embraced her new home with an open heart. She was eager to make a positive impact and quickly set about finding her place in the Arkansas legal community. She joined the Rose Law Firm in Little Rock, one of the most prestigious law firms in the state. This was a significant achievement, as she was one of the few women working at such a high level in the legal field in Arkansas at the time. At the Rose Law Firm, Hillary specialised in patent infringement and intellectual property law, areas that were complex and challenging. She quickly earned a reputation as a skilled and dedicated lawyer. Her colleagues respected her sharp legal mind and her ability to understand and articulate intricate legal issues. She was breaking barriers in a male-dominated profession, paving the way for future generations of women lawyers. While Hillary was making strides in her career, Bill was beginning his journey in politics. His charisma and passion for public service were evident, and he quickly became a rising star in Arkansas politics. In 1978, he ran for governor, a bold move for someone so young. Hillary was right by his side, supporting him, offering advice, and connecting with people across the state. Bill's campaign was a whirlwind of activity. Hillary played a crucial role, not just as a supportive spouse, but as a key advisor. She helped with strategy, spoke at events, and listened to the concerns of the people of Arkansas. Her intelligence and compassion won the hearts of many. The campaign was successful, and Bill was elected governor of Arkansas, becoming one of the youngest governors in the country. It was a time of celebration, but also the beginning of a new set of challenges. As the First Lady of Arkansas, Hillary had to balance her professional life with her new public role. She had to be mindful of her actions and words as they were now in the public eye. In this new role, Hillary focused on issues close to her heart. She worked on improving health care and education in Arkansas, especially for children. She believed that every child deserved a chance to succeed, regardless of their background. Her efforts led to significant reforms, including better health services for pregnant women and young children, and improved standards in schools. Adjusting to life in the South was not without its struggles for Hillary. She faced criticism for continuing her career while being the First Lady, a role traditionally seen as more ceremonial. Her strong opinions and her independence were sometimes met with resistance. But Hillary remained true to herself, steadfast in her beliefs and her commitment to public service. During these years, Hillary also faced personal challenges. She and Bill wanted to start a family, but it wasn't easy. After facing difficulties, they were overjoyed with the birth of their daughter, Chelsea, in 1980. Chelsea brought a new joy to their lives and strengthened their bond as a family. Hillary's journey to Arkansas and her early years, there were a time of growth, challenge and achievement. She navigated a new world, broke professional barriers and stood firm in her values. Her experiences in Arkansas shaped her as a lawyer, a public servant and a leader. And as she stood beside Bill in his political career, she continued to carve out her own path, one marked by resilience, dedication and a relentless pursuit of change for the better. Chapter 5 The First Lady of Arkansas as the First Lady of Arkansas, Hillary Clinton embarked on a mission to make a lasting impact in the fields of education and health care. Her passion for these issues was driven by her belief that every child deserved the best. Start in life 
regardless of their background. In the early 1980s, Arkansas faced many challenges in its education system. Schools were underfunded, teacher salaries were low, and student performance was not at the level it needed to be. Hillary saw this as an opportunity to bring about meaningful change. She believed that a strong education system was the foundation of a prosperous and just society. One of Hillary's first major initiatives was to improve the quality of education in Arkansas. She chaired the Arkansas Educational Standards Committee, taking on the enormous task of raising educational standards across the state. Hillary traveled to every corner of Arkansas, meeting with teachers, parents and education experts. She listened to their concerns and ideas, gathering information to help craft effective reforms. The work was challenging. There were many who resisted change, comfortable with the status quo. But Hillary was determined. She advocated for better schooling conditions, updated curriculums and higher qualifications for teachers. Her efforts paid off. The reforms she helped implement led to significant improvements in Arkansas's education system, including smaller class sizes, better resources for schools, and higher teacher salaries. Hillary's focus wasn't just on education. She was equally passionate about improving health care, especially for children. She worked tirelessly to expand health care services for families in need. One of her major achievements was helping to establish the Arkansas Children's Hospital, which provided specialised healthcare services to children across the state. Her work on healthcare extended beyond hospitals. Hillary played a key role in introducing health programmes that benefited rural and underserved communities. She advocated for prenatal and postnatal healthcare programmes, recognising the importance of early health intervention these programs helped reduce infant mortality rates and improved the overall health of children in Arkansas. Hillary's approach to her role as the First Lady of Arkansas was hands-on and proactive. She was not content to simply attend ceremonial events or play a symbolic role. Instead, she got deeply involved in policy and advocacy work. Her approach was a blend of compassion and pragmatism, always focusing on practical solutions to complex problems. Throughout her time in Arkansas, Hillary faced her share of criticism. Her active role in policymaking was not typical for a first lady at that time. Some criticised her for being too ambitious or too involved in matters they felt were outside her purview. However, Hillary remained undeterred. She was driven by a deep sense of purpose and a commitment to making a difference. In addition to her work on education and health care, Hillary also focused on legal issues, particularly those affecting children and families. She continued to practice law, balancing her professional career with her public duties. Her legal expertise and her experience in advocacy added depth to her work as the First Lady. Hillary's time as the First Lady of Arkansas was a period of significant growth and achievement. She faced challenges head-on, broke new ground and left a lasting impact on the state. Her work in education and health care laid the foundation for long-term improvements, benefiting generations of Arkansans. As she concluded her time in Arkansas, Hillary had established herself as a force for change. Her experiences as the First Lady had prepared her for the national stage, equipping her with the skills, knowledge and resilience needed to navigate the complex world of politics and public service. Her journey in Arkansas was just the beginning of a larger story, one that would see her play an even more significant role on the national and global stage. Chapter 6 Entering the National Stage the year 1991 marked a pivotal moment for Hillary and Bill Clinton. Bill, after several terms as the governor of Arkansas, decided to run for the highest office in the United States, the presidency. This decision catapulted both of them onto the national stage, a platform larger and more challenging than anything they had experienced before. 
The presidential campaign of 1992 was a whirlwind of activity. Bill Clinton, known for his charisma and ability to connect with people, was a strong candidate. But this journey was not just about Bill. Hillary played a crucial and active role in the campaign. Her intelligence, experience and passion for public issues made her an invaluable part of the team. Hillary travelled across the country, speaking to people from all walks of life. She listened to their stories and shared the vision of the Clinton campaign. It was a vision for a better America, one with improved health care, stronger education and economic opportunities for all. Her ability to articulate complex policies in a relatable way won her admiration and support. During the campaign, Hillary faced intense scrutiny. Her career and her active role in the campaign were not typical for a prospective first lady. She was breaking the mould of what women in her position were expected to be. While this attracted criticism from some quarters, it also inspired many, particularly women and girls, who saw in her a role model breaking barriers. The campaign trail was not easy. It was filled with long days, constant travel and relentless media attention. Both Hillary and Bill faced personal attacks and political challenges, but they persevered, driven by their commitment to their cause and their belief in what they could achieve for the country. One of the defining moments of the campaign was a series of debates between Bill Clinton and the incumbent president, George H. W. Bush. Bill's performance in these debates, his understanding of the issues, and his ability to connect with the audience, were pivotal. Hillary stood by him throughout, offering support, advice, and encouragement. As the campaign progressed, it became clear that the Clintons were a formidable team. They complemented each other with Bill's charismatic leadership and Hillary's policy expertise. Together, they presented a vision of leadership that was both compassionate and pragmatic. The election night of 1992 was a moment of high tension and excitement. As the results came in, it became evident that Bill Clinton had won the presidency. It was a historic victory, and for Hillary, it was the beginning of a new and even more challenging chapter. As the First Lady of the United States, Hillary knew that she would have a platform to enact real change. She had plans to work on health care reform, children's issues and women's rights. The journey to the White House had been long and challenging, but it was just the start. The real work, the work of governing and making a difference in the lives of millions of Americans, was about to begin. In this chapter of their lives, the Clintons moved from state-level politics to the national arena. Their journey was marked by determination, resilience, and a desire to serve the public. Hillary, as a partner and advisor to Bill, had shown that she was more than capable of handling the pressures and responsibilities of national politics. Her role in the 1992 presidential campaign was not just a support role. It was a partnership that changed the traditional dynamics of political campaigns and set the stage for her future endeavours in public service. Chapter 7 Challenges and Triumphs The years of Bill Clinton's presidency, from 1993 to 2001, were a time of both challenges and triumphs, marked by significant political achievements and personal difficulties. For Hillary Clinton, these years were a test of resilience, adaptability and unwavering commitment to her values and goals. One of the biggest challenges during Bill's presidency was the pursuit of health care reform, a cause close to Hillary's heart. As the head of the task force on national health care reform, Hillary sought to overhaul the American health care system to ensure that every citizen had access to quality medical care. This was a daunting task, involving complex negotiations with lawmakers, health care providers and various interest groups. 
Despite her hard work and dedication, the health care reform plan faced strong opposition. Critics attacked the plan's complexity and Hillary's leadership role. The intense scrutiny and political battles were challenging for Hillary, but she remained steadfast in her belief in the importance of health care reform. Though the comprehensive plan ultimately failed to pass, this experience taught Hillary valuable lessons about the complexities of policymaking and the importance of political compromise. Another significant challenge during Bill Clinton's presidency was the Whitewater controversy. This was a complicated land deal that the Clintons had been involved in before Bill's presidency. The investigation into Whitewater cast a shadow over the Clinton administration, even though no wrongdoing was found on their part. Hillary faced this challenge with dignity, cooperating with the investigations while continuing her work as First Lady. Beyond policy and political challenges, the Clinton presidency was also marked by personal difficulties. The most notable was the Monica Lewinsky scandal, which brought intense media scrutiny and personal strain. Hillary faced this difficult period with remarkable strength and resilience. Her ability to maintain her composure and focus on her work amidst such personal challenges was a testament to her character. Despite these challenges, the Clinton presidency had its share of triumphs as well. Bill Clinton's administration saw significant economic growth, low unemployment rates and a budget surplus. Hillary played a role in various policy initiatives, particularly in areas related to children and families, women's rights and education. Hillary's international work as First Lady was also a highlight. She travelled to more than 80 countries, advocating for human rights, democracy and women's empowerment. Her speech at the United Nations Fourth World Conference on Women in Beijing in 1995 was groundbreaking. She declared, Human rights are women's rights, and women's rights are human rights. A statement that became a rallying cry for the global women's rights movement. Throughout these years, Hillary also focused on issues related to children's health and welfare. She was instrumental in the creation of the Children's Health Insurance Program, CHIP, which provided healthcare coverage for millions of children in low-income families. This program was one of the significant achievements of the Clinton administration and a personal victory for Hillary. In the realm of education, Hillary advocated for the improvement of public schools and the promotion of early childhood education. She understood that education was key to America's future and worked tirelessly to support initiatives that would provide better educational opportunities for all children. The Clinton presidency was a period of significant learning and growth for Hillary. She faced numerous challenges, both political and personal, but emerged from them with a deeper understanding of the complex tease of governance and the resilience needed in public service. These experiences shaped her, honing her skills as a leader and further fueling her commitment to making a difference in the world. As the 20th century came to a close and the new millennium dawned, Hillary Clinton had established herself not just as a supportive spouse to the president, but as a formidable political figure in her own right. Her journey through the ups and downs of the Clinton presidency set the stage for her own future ambitions and her continued fight for the causes she held dear. Before we dive into Chapter 8 and explore Hillary's remarkable advocacy for women's rights, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please leave a comment, like and share any suggestions you have for future stories. Your feedback is invaluable and helps shape our journey together. And don't forget to check out more engaging stories on Woo English. Chapter 8. A Voice for Women Throughout her career, Hillary Clinton has been a tireless advocate for women's rights. Her commitment to gender equality has taken her across the globe, where she has spoken out on behalf of women and girls in many different cultures and societies. 
One of the most significant moments in Hillary's advocacy for women's rights occurred in 1995 at the United Nations Fourth World Conference on Women in Beijing. This conference was a gathering of leaders and activists from around the world, all united in the goal of advancing women's rights. Hillary's presence there was not just as the First Lady of the United States, but as a passionate advocate for gender equality. Her speech in Beijing was a defining moment, not just for Hillary, but for the global movement for women's rights. She declared boldly, Human rights are women's rights, and women's rights are human rights. These words echoed around the world. They were a call to action, reminding everyone that the fight for women's rights was integral to the fight for human rights everywhere. Hillary's speech was not just powerful in its rhetoric. It was significant in its impact. It helped to shift the global conversation about women's rights. She spoke about issues like domestic violence, trafficking of women, and the need for women's full participation in society. Her words inspired women around the world and gave them a powerful voice in the global arena. Beyond her speech in Beijing, Hillary's advocacy for women's rights extended to her work in various capacities, both in the United States and internationally. As First Lady, she championed several initiatives aimed at empowering women. She worked to increase educational and economic opportunities for women, understanding that education and financial independence were key to gender equality. Hillary's focus on women's rights continued when she became a US senator. She used her position to advocate for legislation that supported women's health, combated violence against women, and promoted equal pay for equal work. She was a key supporter of the Lilly Ledbetter Fair Pay Act, which aimed at closing the pay gap between men and women. Her commitment to women's issues was also evident during her tenure as Secretary of State. Hillary believed that the empowerment of women was not just a moral issue, but a critical factor in global peace and stability. She integrated women's rights into US foreign policy, arguing that no country could flourish if it stifled the potential of its women. One of Hillary's key initiatives as Secretary of State was the establishment of the Office of Global Women's Issues. This office worked to integrate gender considerations into US foreign policy and to ensure that women's rights were considered in international diplomacy and development efforts. Throughout her career, Hillary has met with women leaders, activists and everyday citizens around the world. She has listened to their stories and advocated on their behalf. Whether it was supporting women entrepreneurs in Africa or speaking out against gender-based violence in Asia, Hillary has been a consistent and vocal champion for women. Hillary's advocacy for women's rights has not been without its challenges. She has faced criticism and opposition both at home and abroad. However, she has remained steadfast in her belief that women's rights are a crucial part of a just and equal society. Her work has inspired a generation of women to stand up for their rights and to strive for equality in all areas of life. As we reflect on Hillary Clinton's legacy as a voice for women, it is clear that her impact goes beyond her speeches and initiatives. She has helped to change the way the world views women's rights. Her unwavering commitment to gender equality has made her a role model and a source of inspiration for women and girls around the globe. Her journey as a champion for women's rights is a testament to her belief in the power of advocacy and the importance of standing up for what is right. Chapter 9. The Senator from New York In the year 2000, Hillary Clinton embarked on a new and ambitious journey, running for a seat in the United States Senate. This decision marked a significant turning point in her career, as it was the first time she sought elected office in her own right. 
Her decision to run for the Senate was driven by a desire to continue her public service and to make a difference on a larger stage. The decision to run as a senator from New York was not an easy one. New York is a state with a diverse population and complex political landscape. As a newcomer to the state's political scene, Hillary had to work hard to earn the trust and support of New Yorkers. She embarked on a listening tour, travelling across the state, meeting with people from all walks of life. She visited farms, factories, schools and community centres, listening to the concerns and aspirations of the citizens. Hillary's campaign for the Senate focused on key issues such as health care, education and economic development. She promised to be a strong voice for New Yorkers in Washington and to fight for policies that would benefit the ordinary citizens. Her campaign was characterised by its grassroots approach, engaging with voters directly and addressing their everyday concerns. The race for the Senate was not without challenges. Hillary faced tough opposition and intense media scrutiny. The campaign was a hard-fought battle, with both sides vigorously campaigning for support. However, Hillary's commitment, her understanding of the issues and her vision for New York resonated with the voters. On November 7, 2000, Hillary Clinton made history by becoming the first First Lady to be elected to the United States Senate. Her victory was not just a personal achievement, but a symbol of breaking barriers for women in politics. As a senator, Hillary quickly established herself as a dedicated and effective legislator. She served on several important committees, including the Health, Education, Labour and Pensions Committee and the Armed Services Committee. In these roles, she worked on a wide range of issues, from improving health care and education to advocating for national security and veterans' rights. One of Hillary's key achievements as a senator was her work in the aftermath of the September 11, 2001 attacks. The attacks had a devastating impact on New York, particularly the city of New York. Hillary was a vocal advocate for the victims and their families. She fought for federal funding to rebuild the city and to provide health care and compensation for the first responders who had suffered health problems due to their work at Ground Zero. Another significant area of Hillary's work in the Senate was her focus on children's health and safety. She championed efforts to expand the Children's Health Insurance Programme, which provided health care coverage for millions of children from low-income families. She also worked on legislation to improve the safety of prescription drugs for children and to address issues of child obesity and diabetes. Hillary was also known for her work on global issues, particularly in advocating for women's rights and human rights. She continued to use her platform to speak out on international issues, drawing attention to crises and advocating for diplomatic and humanitarian responses. Throughout her tenure in the Senate, Hillary was known for her work ethic and her willingness to work across party lines. She collaborated with her colleagues, both Democrats and Republicans, to pass legislation and to address the needs of her constituents. Her approach to governance was pragmatic, focusing on finding practical solutions to complex problems. Hillary's time as the senator from New York was a period of significant achievement and growth. She proved herself to be a skilled legislator and a fierce advocate for the issues she cared about. Her work in the Senate laid the groundwork for her future endeavours and further established her as a prominent figure in American politics. Her journey as the senator from New York was not just about the policies she pursued. It was about her commitment to public service and her dedication to making a difference in the lives of the people she served. Chapter 10. The 2008 Presidential Race In 2008, Hillary Clinton embarked on a historic journey, one that would mark her as one of the most influential figures in American politics. She announced her candidacy for the President of the United States, 
a decision that stirred excitement and hope across the nation and beyond. This campaign was not just a political endeavour. It was a symbol of breaking barriers, as Hillary was one of the first women to be a front-runner in a major party's presidential race. The road to the 2008 presidential election was long and challenging. Hillary's campaign focused on issues close to her heart. Healthcare reform, economic equality, and America's role in the world. She travelled across the country, meeting with Americans from all walks of life, listening to their stories and sharing her vision for a better future. The primary season of the 2008 campaign was a highly competitive and closely watched race. One of Hillary's main opponents was Barack Obama, a senator from Illinois. The contest between Hillary and Obama was intense and historic. It was a battle of ideas, of different visions for the future of America. Both candidates had strong support, and the primaries were marked by a series of close contests and passionate debates. Throughout the campaign, Hillary demonstrated her depth of experience and her commitment to public service. She spoke about her plans with clarity and conviction, addressing issues from the economy to foreign policy. Her campaign slogan, Ready on Day One, emphasised her experience and readiness to lead the nation. Despite her strong campaign, the primary race was ultimately won by Barack Obama. The conclusion of the primary season was a moment of mixed emotions. While there was disappointment for Hillary and her supporters, there was also a sense of pride in the historic campaign they had run. Hillary's candidacy had broken down barriers and paved the way for future generations of women in politics. In a display of unity and commitment to the Democratic Party's goals, Hillary endorsed Barack Obama in his presidential campaign. Her speech at the Democratic National Convention was a powerful moment. She urged her supporters to rally behind Obama, emphasising the importance of coming together to achieve common goals. After Barack Obama won the presidential election, he appointed Hillary Clinton as the Secretary of State, a role of immense responsibility and influence. This appointment was a testament to Obama's respect for Hillary's expertise and her ability to represent the United States on the global stage. As Secretary of State, Hillary played a crucial role in shaping US foreign policy. She travelled extensively, visiting countries around the world to foster diplomatic relations and address global challenges. Her tenure as Secretary of State was marked by efforts to strengthen alliances, advocate for human rights, and promote global stability and understanding. One of the key initiatives during her tenure was the emphasis on smart power, a strategy that combines military strength with diplomacy and development efforts. Hillary worked to rebuild America's image abroad, engaging with world leaders and participating in crucial negotiations on issues ranging from nuclear disarmament to climate change. Her work as Secretary of State also included a strong focus on women's rights as a cornerstone of US foreign policy. She believed that empowering women globally was essential for peace and progress. Under her leadership, the State Department supported initiatives to promote education, economic participation and political empowerment for women worldwide. The 2008 presidential race and her subsequent role as Secretary of State were defining moments in Hillary Clinton's career. They showcased her resilience, her leadership skills and her unwavering commitment to public service. Though she did not win the presidency, her campaign left an indelible mark on American politics, inspiring millions and showing that women can and should aspire to the highest political offices. As Secretary of State, she continued to break new ground using her position to advocate for a more just and peaceful world. Chapter 11. Secretary of State In 2009, Hillary Clinton began her tenure as the Secretary of State, a role that would further solidify her position as a global leader. As Secretary of State, 
Hillary was the United States chief diplomat, responsible for representing American interests abroad and managing the country's foreign policy. Her appointment to this role was a significant milestone, not just in her career, but in the history of American politics. Hillary's approach to international relations was characterized by a strong belief in diplomacy and collaboration. She understood that in an interconnected world, global challenges required global solutions. Her strategy was to engage with other countries, build partnerships, and work together to address issues such as climate change, security threats, and human rights. One of Hillary's first major initiatives as Secretary of State was the reset of relations with Russia. The goal was to improve ties with Russia and to work together on common issues, despite the differences between the two countries. This initiative led to several important agreements, including a new strategic arms reduction treaty. Hillary also focused on strengthening America's alliances in Europe and Asia. She worked closely with NATO allies, ensuring that the alliance remained a cornerstone of transatlantic security. In Asia, she advocated for a pivot or rebalance to the region, recognizing its growing importance in global affairs. She worked to deepen ties with key Asian countries, promoting stability and cooperation in the region. One of the defining features of Hillary's tenure as Secretary of State was her commitment to women's rights. She believed that empowering women was not just a moral imperative, but also essential for global peace and prosperity. Throughout her travels, she met with women, leaders, activists and entrepreneurs, advocating for their participation in all aspects of society. Her efforts helped to put women's rights at the forefront of US foreign policy. Another key aspect of Hillary's approach to diplomacy was her use of technology and social media. She recognized the power of digital tools in shaping public opinion and engaging with people around the world. Under her leadership, the State Department expanded its digital diplomacy efforts using platforms like Twitter and Facebook to communicate American policies and to listen to the voices of people globally. Hillary's time as Secretary of State was also marked by challenges. One of the most difficult moments was the attack on the US consulate in Benghazi, Libya in 2012. The attack resulted in the tragic loss of American lives, including the US ambassador to Libya, Christopher Stevens. The incident led to intense scrutiny and criticism of the State Department's security arrangements and Hillary's leadership. She faced this challenge head-on, taking responsibility and working to improve the safety of American diplomats around the world. Throughout her tenure, Hillary traveled extensively, visiting a record number of countries. Her tireless work ethic and her ability to connect with people of diverse backgrounds earned her respect and admiration, both at home and abroad. She left the position of Secretary of State with a legacy of diplomatic achievements and a reputation as a formidable and respected leader on the global stage. Hillary's tenure as Secretary of State was a period of significant achievement and growth. She navigated complex international issues with skill and determination. Her approach to diplomacy emphasizing engagement, partnership, and a commitment to universal values, left a lasting impact on American foreign policy. As she stepped down from the role, she left behind a world that was more interconnected and, in many ways, more hopeful thanks to her contributions as a diplomat and a champion for global cooperation and understanding. Chapter 12 the 2016 candidacy. In 2016, Hillary Clinton embarked on another monumental journey, a second bid for the presidency of the United States. This campaign was not just a political venture. It was a historic moment, as she was the first woman to be nominated for president by a major US political party. 
The campaign was a testament to Hillary's enduring commitment to public service and her vision for America's future. The primary elections were the first major challenge of the 2016 campaign. Hillary faced several opponents, but her main competitor was Bernie Sanders, a senator from Vermont. Sanders' campaign, fueled by a message of economic equality and political reform, attracted a large following, particularly among young voters. The primaries were a spirited contest of ideas and visions for the Democratic Party. Throughout the primaries, Hillary's campaign focused on a wide range of issues, including improving health care, addressing income inequality and tackling climate change. She presented herself as a candidate with the experience and knowledge to lead the country. Her message resonated with a broad base of voters and she won a series of important victories in the primaries. One of the defining aspects of Hillary's campaign was her focus on breaking down barriers and building an inclusive America. She reached out to diverse communities, advocating for the rights of women, the LGBTQ community, people of color, and people with disabilities. Her campaign slogan, Stronger Together, reflected her belief in the power of unity and cooperation. After a hard-fought primary season, Hillary emerged as the Democratic nominee for president. This achievement was a historic moment, not just for her, but for the country. It was a milestone in the long journey towards gender equality in American politics. As the nominee, Hillary focused on uniting the Democratic Party and preparing for the general election campaign against the Republican nominee, Donald Trump. The general election campaign was one of the most unconventional and contentious in modern American history. The contrast between Hillary and Trump was stark, not just in terms of policy positions, but also in their vision for America. The campaign was marked by intense debates, relentless media scrutiny, and a deeply polarized electorate. Throughout the campaign, Hillary presented her vision for an America that was forward-looking, inclusive, and strong. She traveled across the country, holding rallies, participating in debates, and engaging with voters. Her campaign emphasized her readiness to lead, her policy expertise, and her commitment to American values. One of the key moments of the general election campaign was the series of presidential debates between Hillary and Trump. These debates were highly anticipated and widely viewed. Hillary's performance in these debates was noted for her poise, her detailed knowledge of policy, and her ability to challenge her opponent. Despite a strong campaign, the election night brought unexpected results. In a close and divisive election, Donald Trump emerged victorious. The outcome was a shock to many, including Hillary's supporters. It was a disappointing end to a historic campaign. Hillary's concession speech was a moment of grace and resilience. She acknowledged the pain of the loss, but urged her supporters to continue to believe in and work for the values they held dear. She emphasized the importance of democracy and the peaceful transition of power. The 2016 presidential campaign was a momentous chapter in Hillary Clinton's life. It was a campaign marked by its historic nature, its intense battles, and its ultimate disappointment. Yet, through it all, Hillary remained committed to her ideals and her vision for the country. Her candidacy broke barriers and set the stage for future generations of women to pursue the highest office in the land. Her campaign, though not successful in its ultimate goal, left an indelible mark on American politics and on the long struggle for gender equality in public life. Chapter 13 Election Night The night of November 8, 2016 was one filled with anticipation and high emotions. It was the culmination of a long and hard-fought campaign for the presidency of the United States. Hillary Clinton, the Democratic nominee, 
was on the brink of what many believed could be a historic victory, potentially becoming the first woman president in the history of the United States. As the polls closed and the counting began, Hillary and her team gathered with supporters to watch the results come in. The atmosphere was a mix of excitement and nervousness. Supporters, staff and volunteers were all hopeful, eagerly awaiting the announcement that Hillary Clinton had broken one of the highest glass ceilings. Early in the evening, the mood was optimistic. The initial results looked promising for Hillary. Her campaign team and supporters were filled with a sense of pride and anticipation. There were smiles, cheers, and a lot of hopeful glances at the screens showing the incoming results. However, as the night progressed, the atmosphere began to change. The mood shifted from one of confidence to concern. States that were expected to be won easily by Hillary were proving to be closer contests. Other states that were seen as crucial battlegrounds were leaning towards her opponent, Donald Trump. The tension in the room was palpable. Supporters, who had been cheering and celebrating, became quiet and anxious. The campaign staff was glued to their screens, analysing the incoming data, trying to make sense of what they were seeing. The optimism that had characterised the start of the evening was slowly fading replaced by a growing sense of disbelief. As more results came in, it became clear that the election was not going as anticipated. States that were critical to a Hillary victory were being called for Trump. The path to victory for Hillary was narrowing rapidly. The realisation that the night might not end in celebration began to set in. The mood was sombre, when it became apparent that Donald Trump had secured enough electoral votes to win the presidency. For Hillary and her supporters, the disappointment was profound. It was a moment of deep reflection and emotion. The dream of breaking the ultimate glass ceiling in American politics was not to be realised that night. Hillary, ever the embodiment of resilience and grace, prepared to address her supporters. In the early hours of the morning, she made the difficult call to concede the election to Donald Trump. Her speech was one of dignity and poise, despite the obvious disappointment. She thanked her supporters and urged them to continue to believe in and fight for the values they held dear. The 2016 election night was a roller coaster of emotions. It was a night that started with high hopes and ended in a way that few had predicted. For Hillary Clinton, it was the end of a long journey that had seen her come tantalisingly close to the presidency. The results of the election were a shock to many, both in the United States and around the world. The aftermath of the election was a time for reflection and analysis. For Hillary and her supporters, it was a time to come to terms with the outcome and to look to the future. The 2016 election was a historic moment in American politics, one that would be studied and talked about for years to come. It was a night that showed the unpredictability of politics and the ever-changing dynamics of the American electorate. Chapter 14. Reflection and Resilience. After the whirlwind of the 2016 election, Hillary Clinton stepped back from the forefront of political life, but she did not step away from public service or advocacy. This chapter of her life was one of introspection, resilience and continued commitment to the causes she had championed throughout her career. The period following the election was a time for Hillary to reflect on the campaign and its outcome. It was a time to understand what had happened and why. She spent time with her family, particularly enjoying moments with her grandchildren, which brought her great joy and comfort. This personal time was a crucial part of her process of moving forward. Hillary also took this time to write and share her experiences. She authored a book titled What Happened, a detailed account of her 2016 presidential campaign. In this book, 
she offered her perspective on the events of the election, discussing both her successes and her mistakes. It was a candid and reflective work, providing insights into the challenges she faced and the lessons she learned. Despite the disappointment of the election, Hillary's commitment to public service remained undiminished. She continued to speak out on important issues, including women's rights, health care and democratic values. Her voice remained an influential one in American politics and on the global stage. Hillary also focused on supporting other candidates, particularly women running for political office. She understood the importance of encouraging and mentoring the next generation of leaders. Through her efforts, she hoped to pave the way for more women to enter politics and to break barriers, just as she had done. Her work post-2016 also included involvement in various organisations and initiatives. She returned to her roots as an advocate for children and families, contributing to efforts to improve early childhood education and health care. She also remained active in global affairs, advocating for human rights and democracy around the world. One of Hillary's key focuses was the Clinton Foundation, where she continued her work on issues such as economic development, climate change and global health. The Foundation's initiatives, which spanned various countries and issues, allowed her to continue making a positive impact on a global scale. Throughout this period, Hillary's resilience was evident. She faced criticism and setbacks, but she remained steadfast in her beliefs and her commitment to service. She often spoke about the importance of resilience, sharing her experiences and encouraging others to persevere in the face of challenges. Hillary's engagement with the public also continued through speaking engagements and interviews. She used these platforms to discuss a wide range of issues, from the state of American politics to the challenges facing the global community. Her insights and analysis were sought after and respected, reflecting her deep knowledge and experience. In her life post-2016, Hillary Clinton demonstrated that her commitment to public service and advocacy was not tied to a political office. She showed that one could have a significant impact through various means, whether it be through writing, speaking or supporting others. Her journey was a testament to the power of resilience and the enduring nature of a commitment to making a difference. The period following the 2016 election was, for Hillary, a time of reflection, growth and continued service. It was a time when she reaffirmed her dedication to the causes she cared about and her role as a mentor and advocate. Her life post-2016 was a clear message that her journey was far from over and her influence and impact would continue to be felt in many ways. Chapter 15. A Lasting Legacy Hillary Clinton's career in public service and politics spans several decades, and her impact on American politics, women's rights and global affairs is profound and far-reaching. As we reflect on her legacy, it's clear that her contributions have shaped not only the landscape of American politics, but also the global discourse on gender equality and human rights. In American politics, Hillary's legacy is marked by her trailblazing role as a woman in high political office. Her tenure as First Lady, Senator, Secretary of State and as a presidential candidate broke barriers and paved the way for future generations of women in politics. She redefined what was possible for women in the American political arena, showing that they could aspire to and achieve the highest levels of political leadership. As First Lady, Hillary was not content to play a traditional ceremonial role. Instead, she took an active part in policymaking, particularly in healthcare reform and advocating for children's and women's rights. This approach was a departure from the expected role of a First Lady at the time, and set a new standard for the level of involvement that the spouse of a president could have in substantive policy matters. As a senator, Hillary was known for her work ethic and her ability to work across the aisle. 
She tackled issues ranging from health care to national security, and her efforts in the Senate demonstrated her commitment to practical and bipartisan solutions. Her tenure in the Senate solidified her reputation as a skilled and dedicated lawmaker. Hillary's role as Secretary of State brought her to the forefront of international politics, where she championed the cause of human rights with a particular focus on women's rights. Her famous declaration, Women's rights are human rights, became a rallying cry for the global movement for gender equality. As Secretary of State, she worked to integrate women's rights into US foreign policy, advocating for women's participation in all aspects of society, including in peace and security processes. Her two presidential campaigns, particularly her 2016 run, were historic. Though she did not win the presidency, her candidacy represented a major milestone in the quest for gender equality in American politics. She inspired millions of women and girls with her determination, resilience and vision. Her campaigns, especially the 2016 campaign, brought issues of gender and equality to the forefront of national discourse. Beyond her formal roles, Hillary's impact extends to her advocacy for women's rights, both in the US and globally. She has been a consistent voice for women's empowerment, speaking out against gender-based violence, advocating for women's economic participation, and promoting girls' education worldwide. Her work has inspired a new generation of women leaders and activists. Hillary Clinton's legacy is also marked by the challenges she faced, including intense public scrutiny and criticism. Her career has been a testament to resilience in the face of these challenges. She has been a role model for many, showing that it is possible to persist and continue to serve in the face of adversity. As a global figure, Hillary's influence goes beyond American politics. She has been a voice on the global stage, advocating for democracy, human rights and international cooperation. Her diplomatic efforts as Secretary of State contributed to a stronger global community and to the advancement of US interests abroad. In summary, Hillary Clinton's legacy is one of breaking barriers, championing the rights of women and children, and serving her country with dedication and resilience. Her impact on American politics has been profound, changing the way women's roles in politics are viewed and paving the way for future generations. Her advocacy for women's rights has had a global impact, inspiring women around the world to fight for equality and representation. Hillary Clinton's journey is a testament to the power of perseverance and the impact one person can have on their country and the world. Chapter 16 Looking Forward As we look towards the future, Hillary Clinton's journey continues to be one of service, advocacy and inspiration. Her ongoing work and her views on the future of politics reflect her enduring commitment to public service and her belief in the potential for positive change. Hillary remains actively involved in various initiatives and organisations that align with her lifelong commitment to public service. She continues her work with the Clinton Foundation, focusing on issues like global health climate change and economic development. This work allows her to stay engaged in global affairs and to continue making a positive impact on the world stage. In addition to her work with the Foundation, Hillary is a sought-after speaker and author. She uses these platforms to share her experiences, insights and perspectives on current political events and global issues. Her speeches and writings are not only reflections on her past experiences, but also commentaries on contemporary challenges and opportunities. Hillary's views on the future of politics are shaped by her extensive experience and her belief in the power of democratic institutions. She emphasises the importance of participation in the democratic process, the need for fair and free elections, and the critical role of an informed and engaged citizenry. She advocates for policies that promote equality, inclusivity and sustainability, 
believing that these are essential for a prosperous and stable society. One of the key themes in Hillary's outlook on the future is the role of women in politics and leadership. She is a strong advocate for increasing women's participation in political life, both in the United States and around the world. She believes that having more women in leadership positions leads to more comprehensive and effective governance. Her advice to future generations, especially to young women aspiring to enter public service, is grounded in her own experiences. She encourages them to be bold, to believe in their ability to make a difference, and to persist in the face of challenges. She often speaks about the importance of resilience, the value of teamwork, and the need to stay true to one's values and principles. Hillary also underscores the importance of mentorship and support networks. She speaks from her experience about the power of having mentors and a supportive community, and she encourages young people to seek out guidance and to build relationships that will help them in their journeys. In terms of specific issues, Hillary continues to focus on areas where she believes she can make the most impact. She is vocal about the need for comprehensive healthcare reform, the importance of addressing climate change, and the necessity of protecting and promoting human rights. She also emphasizes the need for a strong and responsible foreign policy that builds alliances and addresses global challenges through cooperation and diplomacy. As she looks to the future, Hillary Clinton's legacy serves as a beacon of hope and a source of inspiration. Her life's work, marked by dedication, resilience and a commitment to public service, continues to influence and inspire those who seek to make a positive impact in the world. In conclusion, Hillary Clinton's story is not just about the positions she has held or the campaigns she has run. It is about her ongoing journey of service and advocacy. Her vision for the future of politics and her advice to future generations reflect her deep understanding of the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead. Her continued engagement and her enduring commitment to making a difference are testaments to her belief in the potential for positive change and the power of dedicated individuals to shape a better future. As our journey through the stories of Gates and Jobs concludes, we invite you to share your thoughts. Like, comment and suggest new stories. Don't forget to download our free PDF stories for an enjoyable way to learn English at Woo English.